Hey guys, hey today on Bad Beast Barbecue, we're going to take a look at how to sear both sides of your meat, steak, chicken, or otherwise at the same time with this bad boy here from Sear BQ right after this. He's a bad beast on that barbecue on the grill of the smoker. He knows just what to do. All right, guys, like I mentioned before, we're going to be taking a look at the uh, searing meat press by a company called SearBQ. OK, so they sent me this about three weeks ago and I hadn't gotten around to doing a video or testing it out yet. And that's what we're going to do today. Uh, the excessive heat outside plus uh, a, a family trip that we had to take uh, prevented me from doing this in a timely manner. So we're getting knocking it out of the box right now. OK, so. So what is the Sear BQ meat press? Okay, well, if you take a look at this bad boy, this thing here is a 10 pound meat press. Okay, it's got a nice handle on it. This is the top of it and it's really, really heavy. Okay, and what you do is you can use this in your grills or in your oven and you get it up to 450, 500 degrees. And then you put your uh, proteins on it, on the base here and you drop this on top of it, place this on top of it, and with both sides heated up to like 450, 500 degrees, it sears both sides of your protein at the same time, okay? So it's supposed to feed up, not feed up, speed up cooking of uh, steaks and chicken and shrimp and asparagus and vegetables and all those type of things, okay? So this uh, comes pre-seasoned already, but of course we're gonna do some um, additional seasoning of our own okay so we're gonna take this outside today we're gonna be using the char griller I already have it up to 450 degrees outside and then we're gonna put uh, some coats of avocado oil on the sear BQ okay on all of the cast iron this is, this is cast iron this is a cast iron griddle and it's really really heavy and so it should uh, be great for smash burgers, you know, once we get it all seasoned and nothing sticks to it, all right? So let's go ahead and take it outside. We're going to get some avocado oil on it. We're going to throw it in the uh, char griller for 45 minutes and do some additional seasoning to it. So let's head out to the patio.
All right, guys, so we're finished with our cook. Uh, as you saw, we put the sear BQ on the char griller and we set the char grill temperature up to 500 degrees. In about 20 minutes, the sear BQ, 15, 20 minutes, the sear BQ was up to 550, 570 degrees, uh, both pieces. And so we went on ahead and we seared some steaks, okay? The seasoning we used on the steaks is the Grill Mates cracked pepper, garlic, and sea salt. Uh, so this is some good stuff. So I'll put a link down in the description block if you guys are interested in getting some of this. But we're going to go ahead and uh, taste our steaks to see how they came out. So it uh, it seared beautifully uh, when I put the, the, the lid on top of the sear BQ. Once, you, once it hit 500 degrees on both sides, you can hear that sizzle. I know you couldn't hear it outside because I couldn't videotape because of the cicadas. But uh, hopefully once the... Uh, all the noise died down outside. We'll be able to get you that searing action uh, as far as sound quality goes, okay? But we're going to let these, these have been resting now for about seven minutes or so. We're going to go ahead and cut into them. I, now, unfortunately, I took them over their time limit. The sear BQ says four minutes for steaks and then a little bit longer for thicker steaks. Um, when I hit, uh, when it hit the four, the four minute mark, I tempted them out and they came out to like 125. Um, and then I made the mistake of putting the sear BQ uh, back on it for another minute or so. So it took it up to like 135, 137. So I don't know how rare, how pink they're gonna be on the inside, but we're about to find out. So let's go ahead and cut into these bad boys. All right guys, so here are our steaks, a lot of juice on the board here. Um, the entire piece is not crusted over, but it has some nice crust on it nonetheless. Smells fantastic, though. Um, let's check the other side of it. This was the uh, bottom side. This was the side that was touching the bottom of the sear BQ, and that has some pretty nice crust marks on it as well. Not as crusty as you would if you hit, a, hit it with a torch, but nonetheless, it does have a nice crust on it, okay? Let's go ahead and cut into it and see what we get. So, it's really juicy though. It does have some pink in the middle, so not too bad. Not bad, not bad at all, okay? So I guess the final proof is the taste. Let's go ahead and have a taste test. All right, so let's go ahead and have a, a taste of our sear BQ steak. And let's see how it came out. Now this is really good. It's got some nice juice to it, some nice flavor to it, some nice char marks to it. Very juicy, very savory, and I love that that um, grillmates rub is fantastic. Okay, so so all in all, I like the sear BQ. It gives you an opportunity to sear uh, some proteins or vegetables or what have you at a high temperature um, on both sides at one time. So it speeds up the cooking process. Okay, now compared to a steak that I had slow smoked and then seared with a torch this probably comes in second uh, but if you uh, don't have time for all that and you want a quick steak uh, in four minutes or so then i think this is a really good product this uh sear bq is uh, supposed to work on charcoal grills ovens pellet grills and gas grills okay so the next time we use it, we're going to throw it in the rec tech and we're going to see how hot the rec tech can get it and see if we can get the same sear action on the pellet smoker, okay? But all in all, I think this is a great product. I'll put a link to the Sear BQ uh, folks and you can check them out and see for yourself. They got some videos out there, some recipes um, and other ways that you can use this product here, okay? So I want to thank the folks uh, from Sear BQ for sending us this uh, product here to test it out. And uh, we look forward to doing more videos and more recipes with it in the near future, okay? We apologize for the tardiness of uh, doing the video on this, but personal uh, reasons uh, prevented us from doing it in a timely manner or when we want to do it, okay? So, 
Well, uh, that's about it. Also, you guys know I love my char griller. I've been using it more and more. We're going to be doing more and more cooks on the char griller. Uh, so I definitely love that bad boy. And like I said, charcoal flavor, wood flavor with pellet control. So I love it. So, well, that's all we have time for today. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a sear BQ on your grill pressing in some crust. Hey, we'll see you around the smoker. This is great for a fast steak, though. Four minutes, you cannot beat that time frame. See you guys in the next video.